This video shows you how to create beautiful charts with PowerShell and WinForms. The video is split into three parts. First, we do the research to find out how to approach the problem. Second, we do the planning. And third, we do the actual coding. So let's get started with the research. To get an idea how to create and compose the necessary controls for the chart, we use Visual Studio. You can use the free community edition for that. We choose the C-Sharp WinForms application template for .NET framework and give the project a meaningful name. After the creation of the project is done, we see the WinForms designer. Let's head over to the toolbox, find the chart control and track it over onto the form. To make the chart respond to size changes, we need to set the doc property to fill. We do this via the properties panel on the right hand side. Now let's find the series property in the properties panel. Open up the custom editor, find the chart type, set it to pi and hit ok to save the changes. The resulting chart looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the generated code. We select the form, hit F7 to go to the code behind, select the initialize component method and hit F12 to go to the designer generated code. This is where the magic happens, so let's take a closer look. We see that the chart consists of a chart class, a chart area, a legend, and a chart series. The chart has specific collections for each of these objects. We see the chart area collection, the legend collection, and the series collection. After these controls got added to their respective collection, the chart itself is added to the controls collection of the form. The control hierarchy will look something like this, with the form on the outside, the chart on the inside, including the series and the legend. We now know how to create a chart in C-sharp. Let's make a plan how to transfer that into PowerShell. First, we need to reference the necessary assemblies to get the chart and the form type into the scope. After that, we can instantiate the chart types, compose the instantiated objects and set their properties. After that, we can set up the window and show it to the user. Doesn't sound too complicated, so let's write some code in PowerShell. First, we need to reference the necessary assemblies in the script. We do that by using the add type commandlet and giving it the assembly name. We need two assemblies for this task. The first one is System Windows Forms and the other one is System Windows Forms Data Visualization. You can find information about the assemblies by looking up the chart and the form class in MSDN. Now with the assemblies referenced, we can now go ahead and create the chart objects. We start by creating the chart itself, then the chart area, the series and the legend. We use the new object commandlet with the fully qualified class name for that. We now compose the chart classes like we saw it in the C Sharp example. We add the series to the series collection, the chart area to the chart collection and the legend to the legend collection. And we also set the doc to doc style fill. Because we want to have a pie chart, we need to set the chart type to type pie. To make the chart actually display something, we need to add data to it. Let's do this by using the data bind xy method on the points property of the series. Note that we need to add two arrays here. The first one are the labels and the second one contains the data. The chart itself does no grouping or aggregation. If you need that, you have to do it before before you add the data to the chart. We are almost done. The last thing we need to do is to create a window, give it a nice title by setting the text property and then adding the chart to the controls collection of the window. To show the chart to the user, we use the show dialog method on the window. When we open up the script and the debugger, our window pops up. It contains our chart, which automatically adjusts to the window size. You can find a link to the full source code in the description. Hit like if you learned something new and see you next time.